exactly how to build a LinkedIn profile using ChatGPT that leads to more inbound leads. It will show you exactly how to do the headline, the profile body, how to optimize everything about your profile, and it will show you how to position around a problem so that you can attract qualified leads in less time. Because one of the mistakes a lot of people make is just building a kind of a generic LinkedIn headline. This is what I do. Profile summary, this is what I do. Right now, there's a lot of competition, so we actually build our LinkedIn profiles very differently. So let me share my screen. Here are all the prompts that we will go through. We've got it all ready, including how to add in our LinkedIn experience and all that sort of stuff, so you don't have to write it all out from scratch. But the most important thing here is, is the process. There's three elements to it, the positioning, the audience, and the conversion. So let's begin with the positioning because this is the most important. Most people build their LinkedIn profile around top level positioning. So I think with this one, we'll run with the example of a leadership coach. This could be an executive coach. It could be a B2B consultant. It's any sort of higher level service like a software as a service, or if you are working in your own business or selling maybe as a business development rep or in marketing, a higher value service, not a cheap physical product, because there's gonna be your top level positioning and I'll demonstrate what I mean. And then there's the problem-based positioning. Within this process, we like to build around problem-based positioning. Why do we like to build around problem-based positioning? Simply because everybody's favorite radio station is what's in it for me. I am not top of the priority list. Oh, Mark does this amazing leadership coaching. Mark does this, Mark does that. That's not the priority. Nobody's favorite subject is me. Everybody's favorite subject is themselves. So we actually build around a Monday morning problem. So let me explain what I mean. If you think about your ideal client, your ideal client avatar, which is just another way of saying the person that would buy your product and service and would value your product or service and would perceive you as valuable, think about their weekend and think about their Sunday night. They have a great weekend. And then when they get in on Monday, they have a fitness routine, they go into the office all excited for their week because they run a business. Your ideal avatar might not run a business, but they might do something very similar. And, and they come into the office, they're all excited, they go into their inbox and they go, oh my God, I can't believe I'm dealing with this. That is the problem that we need to speak to in our LinkedIn headline, a Monday morning problem. And they'll go, okay, who do I know? Oh, I don't know anyone. Oh, I'm, I don't feel that I know enough to get on a sales call, but I do want to do research about this before I get on a sales call. Boom, we've built our LinkedIn profile around that exact positioning. Before we know it, they're into our world and they want to know more. So with that said, let's go over to ChatGPT and show you exactly what I would write. So the first prompt I've got is, can you give me 10 problems that a leadership coach would solve in a mid-market organization that relate to employee attention? This is a Monday morning problem. And if you don't know what your Monday morning problem is, you can just simply ask ChatGPT. Well, ask them this, what are 10 problems that a leadership coach, insert your job, insert your role, and, and put it in there. Certainly are 10 problems that a leadership coach might address in a mid-market organization with regards to employee retention. Let's run this through, see what it comes up with. There we are, I like number seven, high employee turnover. That is always an issue. So I'm gonna go with this, number seven, high employee turnover. That's a good Monday morning problem around which to build a LinkedIn profile. So what's the next thing I want to do? So this is key. Now can you invert one to 10 and describe the typical root cause in an organization that would lead to these problems. This is really, really important because we can't speak in the profile just to high employee turnover. We need to speak as well in addition to the actual root cause. And we need to be careful about it to make sure we do something they're aware of. Can you, um, so let's highlight this. C can you invert one to 10 and describe the typical root cause. Sure, here's the typical root cause that they would solve. So I'm keeping it open, but I'm looking at number seven, right? I, I wanna run them all, why not? We've got the ability with ChatGPT to do that. There we are, so there we are. 
high employee turnover, this may be due to a lack of employee engagement. Problem, that's something that somebody on a Monday morning who's just had a resignation letter running a team would be aware of. Inadequate compensation, they would be aware of complaints about that or a culture that doesn't value employee retention. They would be acutely aware, maybe, not as strong as the other two, they might be, depends on, on your avatar, that their culture isn't strong enough. So I'm gonna go with that, right? And then I'm gonna go to, go to this. So I'm going to go to, I'm gonna say, okay, I like number seven. Can you give me, keep the tone formal actually, and this one here. Can you give me seven taglines for a LinkedIn headline for this type of problem? Make sure they speak about moving away from a problem and not moving towards pleasure. Because when I ran this one, ChatGPT actually gave me a lot of headlines that spoke about moving towards pleasure. Why is it important in talk about moving towards, I mean, moving away from pain as opposed to towards pleasure? For top of funnel, which your LinkedIn profile would be, your LinkedIn profile is oftentimes the first time somebody comes into contact with your business and organization. Your LinkedIn profile, there's a split second for them to realize if there's something in it for them. The LinkedIn profile is, is, is radically important. We've got to get their attention. What's everyone's favorite subject themselves? Think about if you're in the street and you fall over. Now, before I run through this, I want to talk about the idea of moving away from pain as opposed to towards pleasure. This is not inventing pain points, it's in making people more aware of pain points they already have. I don't know about you, that's really, really useful for me. I'm like, yes, that's something I'm really, really feeling at the moment. So with that said, going back, can you give me 10 taglines for number three for LinkedIn? LinkedIn headline for this type of problem in number seven. Make sure they speak to moving away from a pain and not towards pleasure. So let's see what it comes out with. No, I don't like the bleeding one. <laughs> That's too much. I like this one. I like this one. Why do I like this one? I like fix the leak because when we're doing a LinkedIn profile or a LinkedIn tagline, we need analogies and visualizations are really, really strong. If we can reference to something that somebody's already experienced or something that someone's already experienced in life and, and they just get it, it's often more memorable. We had someone come through the program doing this and, and they were like detoxify company culture. And I like that, but I also do like fix the leak. Keep, keep your best and brightest from walking out the door because we immediately get that. And I always say, could you get your tagline onto a t-shirt? If you couldn't get your tagline onto a t-shirt and someone can get it like that, it's, it's a problem. So let's run with fix the leak. That's actually pretty good. Now, what would I do with that? I would, del I would actually develop that more. So it's here, keep your best and brightest in your department. And then I would add, I help you in your SaaS company. I'm just developing it. You would adjust it for you. Now, the, the foundational principle here is a message cannot be compelling unless it's specific. And people, they've got so much choice these days. I would want them to know that you're speaking to you specifically and your problems. So that's what I would go with the headline. So now we're going to go on to developing the profile body experience. And what I suggest you do, and I'm just gonna do this for me as if I was doing it, I've written it out. Here is my background in bullet points and, and I'm referencing to this, I'll talk you through it. Structured in the format of the hero's story as used in many Hollywood movies because there's enough people in the marketplace explaining to us what they can do and the how to and all that good stuff. But ultimately when everyone's talking about how to, there's no emotional connection and, and people buy from people they know, like and trust. And what is no like and trust? Liking someone's emotion, trusting someone is an emotion, trusting someone is related to an emotion. It doesn't come from how to, you know, all this how to that everyone's got there. So I like to use the format of the hero story originally from Joseph Campbell 
made famous by the classic Hollywood movies like here, you know, Good Will Hunting, Star Wars, <laughs> A New Hope is a classic example of that. How do I know? I actually hired a Hollywood script writer who attended the premiere of that and it shows the character's starting point, you know, the starting point of Luke Skywalker, the ups and downs, meeting Darth Vader, Darth Vader with his father, and then the resolution in The Return of the Jedi. Now, arguably, we're going deep on this one, that the strongest resolution was that of Anakin Skywalker, the, the, the father taking off his hel helmet. But Luke Skywalker, the resolution of him rising and becoming the master and beating his master is another resolution. That is why it was such a strong story. But we're going deep now. You might not be a fan of, of Star Wars. Now, can you weave this into a 300 word, three paragraph LinkedIn profile summary in semi-formal tone? So I've put the bullet, store, the bullet points here. Now, whether you know it or not, I'm yet to meet someone that doesn't have a hero story in some way, shape or form in the way they're building their business. So I started off in corporate looking to make an impact. Why is that important? We don't want to say, um, Michael, the Hollywood scriptwriter, taught me this. I was like, oh, I hated corporate. I want to leave it. But who hates the angry young man is what Michael said to me. Talk about what you wanted to do when you joined that business, because that builds empathy. It's arguably what everyone else wants to do. So I started off in corporate making to look an impact. I mean, the spelling mistakes there doesn't matter. Corp Chat GPT gets it. I didn't enjoy the management style and it held me back. But I love what the company did, ups and downs, conflict, but the manager was to conflict down. I did some great work, got some recognition up. But every time I tried to make an impact, I was ignored, down. So I started to start by myself, reached the point where I've helped tons of companies to escape the same problem. I would put that there, actually. Now, I've just literally pasted my experience, which, which you can all do. If I go to my profile, so I would just go down to my experience section here. And I would go to show all eight experiences. And I've literally just cut and pasted it all. And I've, you can see here, I've post cut and pasted it down here. So just to recap, this is really important. I've gone now, I've gone, here is my background of bullet points. It shows below it is the details in terms of responsibility. Can you weave this into a 300 paragraph? So it's going to take the hero story, the bullet points of my story, of my life, and then it's going to combine it and weave it with the dry responsibilities. So I'm just going to highlight that. And I'm just going to grab it all, let's grab it all, down there, it doesn't matter about the, all that, it's going to go, okay, and we're just going to put it in there, exactly that, all right, I actually like this one, now <laughs> this here is more than good enough compared to a lot of the trash I see out there on LinkedIn. Yeah, this is good enough. <laughs> it's weaved it in. Hero's story. Before starting my own business, yeah, that's exactly where they are. I started it. There we are. Call to action. This is absolutely good enough as a LinkedIn profile. So there you go. I'll drop below in the comments and in the, the links below a link to this memo. I hope this has been useful. And if you enjoyed this, all that remains to be said is check out this video here. Don't forget to give my channel a subscribe. This video here explains exactly how to build an end-to-end -end personalized LinkedIn messaging sequence using the same principle that you've just seen in this video of pulling out people's experience, not your own experience, pulling out their experience, putting it into ChatGPT and quickly building personalized messages that don't feel awkward. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.